this is the coldest fucking thing that's going on. Okay. These are the realest niggas out here. Yeah, know. Like, for real. It. Like, this is. Oh, God. I go off the mentality of the woman. And I know if I, if I know my woman. My Sally! Let's go! Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the smartest dog people, and I'm the host, Anthony That Dude Johnson. And always, 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 I'm gonna have somebody at this table with me. Today we got LB the Great, obviously. Uh, Paul, uh, Paul Rivera, Paul Rivera. We got my guy Kev in the building, decided to join us today. We appreciate you coming through, Kev. Listen, yeah. this is the smartest dog people, Anthony That Dude Johnson. It's about to go down. These motherfuckers was late. That's why we started late. Well, I went to work late. But we here, baby. That's yeah. right. Hey, somebody yeah. said they the watched. Building. Somebody <laughs> said they watched the uh, clip of the backpack drive, uh -huh. and the smile on your face was looking like the Grinch when he when, he, when his heart started to grow big. <laughs> somebody said that to Come me. Oh man, I'm being given. Stop that. They said <laughs> your, listen, your, your heart listen, looked. In. Listen, hold on. Despite what y'all may think of uh, you, <laughs> there's not one individual that I know that won't tell you I give them the shirt off my back. Yeah. And this man can contest it at. He almost gave this shit off his back on the way you, over here. You dang sure <laughs> he did contest it at. And so, come on, man, I'm the most. Uh, you, gotta watch, you gotta watch the clip, man. Don't make me pull it up right but now. But I'm still a real. Leela was, was looking at the kids like, oh yeah, help us, help yeah. us. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. His heart was growing big that yeah, day. Yeah, okay, man. come on, man. The backpack drive was a success. It was though. Yeah, it was a success. That was. That was. It was. Listen. Y'all might be right. Let me make sure I I got some backpacks. Make, make sure y'all like and share. Don't you bring your drawers and shirts next time. They're going to be in the backpack. That's cool. Let's okay, get to no, the... Let's, get to the, let's not give no kids no drawers wow. in the backpack. <laughs> this just took a turn. Let's get to the show. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hey, first we got to give a shout out to our sponsors, hey, Glitter Bombs. Huh? We'll get to it in a second. Uh, let's give a shout out to the sponsors, Glitter Bombs. Shout out to Glitter Bombs. They specialize in personal gifts. They specialize in chocolate strawberries, candy grapes, uh, T-shirts, anything you can think of for a personalized gift for birthdays, parties, bar mitzvahs, whatever you got going on. Shout out to the Moss Lady. Sea Moss Lady has the best moss in the town. It has 92 minerals that we do not receive in the regular foods. You got to check around, man. It helps you with your hair growth. It helps you with your stamina. It helps you with your, 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 your sex game, man. CMOS has been a miracle for me. Let, we'll be right back with y'all. Let's pay these bills. Actual sponsorship. Shout out to Glitter Bombs. They specialize in personal gifts. They specialize in t-shirts, candy grapes, chocolate strawberries, the works. Shout out to Moss Lady. She has the best moss in town. 92 minerals that we do not receive in regular foods. You need that for your hair growth, other things like energy, gut, uh, health, all that. So shout out to our sponsors. Let's get to the show. And shout out to Lachelle Lachelle. She said, I love y'all. She sent us some uh, bread. We appreciate that. Now y'all can actually, in the corner of the screen right there, in the corner of the screen right there, call you can actually in. call in. The number is 1-402-207-4288. Y'all can call in during the conversation. Y'all can also uh, hit the chat, but I wouldn't mind having a conversation yeah. with you over the phone. Yeah. Let's get to the show, man. First topic. Lady comes out and says that uh, women should not use sex as a weapon against their mate. Let's watch the clip. We'll be right back with y'all. As a weapon against your husband. And have sex often is probably some of the most sex as a weapon against your husband. And have sex often is probably some of the most extraordinary advice I never got. As a working mom, we get tired, exhausted, overwhelmed. But it is dangerous to neglect our husband's needs. And I'll explain to you why. Sex is such a huge part of a man's identity. 
It's the way he emotionally bonds with us. And it's crazy because God wired his body this way. When a man experiences an orgasm, his body releases the bonding hormone, oxytocin, in such extraordinary amounts. Women experience it as well, but men do 400% times more. And so that skin to skin contact mixed with an orgasm creates deep connection. And I never just wanna be a great mom. I never just wanna be killing it in the workplace, but I desired for my husband to find me to be a good lover. Look forward to coming home to me. And through difficult conversations, because I was never, never used sex as. All right, that's the actual clip. I'm gonna be honest with you. Even though it was about sex, I do believe she was just saying you have to please your mate and make sure that you cater to your mate. Even though as a, as a single, not as a single, but as a mother, you get tired and you be like, I don't want to do this for him. But at the end of the day, you actually have to make sure you're taking care of home with your man. That's what I took from that. It wasn't necessarily about just sex. It was about as a woman. No, uh, it's about sex. And I'm sorry. No, go do your thing. No, go ahead. To me, it's definitely about sex. You know what I'm saying? And so people are scared to touch on the topic. You know what I'm saying? And they're avoiding it. They don't keep it real. And they say all these other things. Oh, I'm getting old. All this. All that. All this. All the. All, all, all that's making me. Well, I used to say, I'm getting old. Uh, but I personally, you know, wasn't really comfortable with having sex. Like, I never really fuck with somebody like with my, the woman I'm with now. So, right. I was, like, me and her had this conversation the other day. I wasn't comfortable sexually. Mm -hmm. Sexually comfortable. Yeah, but now I'm saying, like, now that I am, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah, but I think the topic we was talking about more was uh, holding out and yeah, using yeah, yeah. it as a weapon. Right. So... Uh, I feel like even if you mad, you should still do it because wow. if nah. well, it's gonna uh, keep the relationship going because you don't want to step out. And I've been in situations where I have done that, got if mad at my like lady, the guy. and then go out there and mess with somebody else, and that's wrong. That's that's oh, he sounds like, like the football. He sounds like the football player. Talk about wrong. Wrong. He sounds like the wrong brother to go to to get mad at your old lady and go mess and with go somebody. Mad somebody else. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. Hey, he sounds. Yeah. You know, he sounds like. Did you hear a football player that came out and said that even though his wife has cancer and she's hurting internally and having physical issues, he demands sex from her. Did y'all not hear that clip? I think I had it. And he was saying that that's her obligation. She, regardless of that's what she... Cold. This well, cold. Cold. That's cold. Because here go the, 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 the thing, yeah, though. Please. Now, here go the thing. You know these people are in sexless relationships? Right. Sexless? Yeah. Sexless. Right. And you know what I'm saying? That will go to... Three months, 90 days. I know a woman that said she went seven days. years without sex with her husband. Oh, no. She said well, she went seven years. He did. Right. He did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because right. it doesn't make any sense. And so when women try to use sex as a weapon, like, oh, you cheated, I ain't going to give you no. Okay. I just keep cheating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what, what do you mean? You know what I'm saying? It, it ain't like I'm going to stop and I'm in the doghouse and, uh, uh, for six months, for a half a year. Oh, and you think that dragging, because yeah. people, people What's have a natural desire. And that natural right. desire is what creates life, what creates population, not just in human beings, but on the earth, period. In a relationship, you shouldn't not use for, nothing as a weapon. You as a man should right. use your dick as a weapon. You shouldn't use the credit card as a weapon. She shouldn't use the kids as a weapon. No, I'm going to use the money. The no, money. no, there should the be no weapon. You have nothing because you it's have... It's still a weapon. It's still but a weapon have, in, a, in a relationship. No money. Uh -huh. That's being denied sex. That will say, hey, even though I'm broke, I need some. Just as a natural instinct, as a being, as a human being. I mean, I, I don't know. My, my motherfucking dick won't even get up if I'm broke. So if I you were the same one. feel like you don't deserve it. Hold on, time out. Hold on, time out. Hold on, time out. Because if you in the house with the one that you broke with, y'all probably fight, arguing, everything. Right. They say you money is saying? the main issue but, between couples. But if you say, well... Uh, I got nineteen dollars on the lap dance, but I only got a dollar for a cigarette. If you say, "Well, I only got twenty dollars," that's a song, hard song by E Forty. Y'all should yeah. listen to it. 
But if I got twenty dollars and I go to the bar and I spend ten of that twenty on the bottle and fall in the bar and the person who my frustrations is with, the person who is denying me, I'm denying them is not there and I'm in a social environment and I start vibing with but a woman but how you, or vice versa a woman but hold up though no, if she wasn't using sex and holding out on you you might not be in that position to be able to vibe right. with her exactly yeah you so that, but, but, but again I said this, I'm, glad, lady. I'm glad that y'all said this this mm -hmm. is a good uh, I'm about to spin it I'm about to spin a block on y'all with this so what I realized as a black man this is what I realized in my past in the last few years we got to stop using sex as a weapon in itself. And what I mean by that is there's more to life than just sex. You understand like what? what? Uh, there is no life without sex. But, but, <laughs> but, but, listen, but sex but, is life. But listen, right. you would be here without sex. But time out. So, so what I realized, like I said, I'm going, I'm literally in this phase of my life to where, like, I, I have options, mm -hmm. but I have a woman. Right. right. But, but. My, me and my woman having a bad day is not gonna make me want to go fucking nail somebody. Well, about right. a ninety straight bad days. We're not together. Oh, We're not together. Yeah, we, yeah, hell no. Uh -uh. But but as, as as black men, I'm gonna say as black men, yeah, no. fuck sex. What about the intimacy that yeah, ain't got nothing to do with sex? Because like you. like I said, I, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> let's see what Jess said. Jess said, "Lil Duvall's is go Lil Duvall's going to be upset." Uh, Y'all are admitting yeah. uh, black men cheat. Tired. Black men don't cheat. Well, that's black that tired. I don't cheat. That's that tired. I don't cheat. That's that tired. That's Jesse. She you probably talking about me. No, she ain't. I overcome <laughs> those uh, childish ways. Which way? Cheating in a relationship. You, don't, Kevin, you was a good dude. When, like I, I remember when I met you, you was in a relationship. Right. And you, you was a good husband. Like. I don't know what y'all was married. Part, yeah, yeah, you yeah, was just yeah, a good, you yeah. was a good provider. There you go. And yeah. a good dude. And, and, you took and, and, yeah. So, do you ever want that again? I want that. Yes, I do. Absolutely, I do. I want that in a stable environment. I want to be with a woman that, uh, like you said, there's intimacy besides sex. I want her to be able to turn me on with her mind. You know what I'm saying? I want to definitely be able to have an intellectual conversation. I need somebody that challenge me. I need to have someone where we can talk about more than just mm -hmm. what's up for the night. Right. I want to be able to bounce ideas off you. Right. I want to be able to call and say, look something up. You know what I'm talking about. Look it up. And we can ping off right. each other. Right. And right. we can do that. And then, now to me, that makes the sex even better. When you are really in tune with somebody well, the, and you're not just using them as some well, type my, of fuck them. Well, my well, girlfriend, my girlfriend is my best friend. There you uh, go. But you say that I'm, I'm, I'm I got to target you in this situation. Go, go you, for it, man. Been, how long you been single? I've been single for about 11, 12 years. Yeah, but, but, I, had, but I had a few little stints in between there. But I'm saying, you know, like, you've always been a solid dude that took yeah. care and, and provided. Like I said, mm -hmm. Cam got his shit together. And I never could understand, like, why this dude don't have, like, a, 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 a family. Because he's not in a slave relationship. And so a lot of people get in relationships for financial reasons. When they so, for security, so this, men this, wearing this, love. This man, I seen this man right here that's sitting in front of me, yeah, yeah. go from that. I seen him messing with a woman just for a roof over his head to then pe providing a roof for that woman's head. But then said, hey, skip that. I just provide a roof for my own head. Right. And so when you, and so a lot of relationships are financial. So can we? This topic is tailored to exactly what we're talking about about being single and do you really want a family? Do you really? This woman comes out and uh, she basically goes on about how her spirit is broken behind men and, and her toxic relationships. Mm -hmm. She don't even look at men the same way. Let's watch the clip of this lady talking about it and then we'll have a conversation. Turn your phone. They can call, call in. They can definitely call, call in. in. Number in the corner. Call I, I don't. In. I don't really care to interrupt yes, the conversation. Yes, you call in. Why? Why we like to hear from you. you? So let, let's watch the clip of this lady talking about why she wants to be single. She thinks she's going to be single for the rest of her life. And we'll have a conversation. We'll be right back. Accepting that you are most likely going to be alone for the rest of your life is a really hard pill to swallow. And it's not even because there's anything wrong with me or that I am not deserving. I'm just tired. I've spent most of my life recovering from men who have caused so much trauma my my physical brain um cannot handle anymore it is always in survival mode 
it is always in fight or flight mode my my, my brain has never fully recovered from the trauma that has been caused i meet guys and i feel like i'm constantly looking for a reason to not trust them because i have never experienced a good man before like i've never been in a good healthy relationship i don't even know what that looks like i don't even know what to look for i don't know what is normal i've never experienced normal how am i supposed to know and now i'm 37 and every man that i meet is disappointing and doesn't add value to my life doesn't make me happy and i just don't want to settle anymore how do i know if someone is the one i mean is there something wrong with me i i question it all the time but i i know that i'm just fucking traumatized what does a loving man feel like what does a healthy relationship feel like what does it feel like when you have found your person i I've been in so many relationships, long relationships, and no one has ever, ever added value to my life or made me feel like. All right, so that's the actual clip, man, and I'm gonna be honest with you. At the end, towards the end, she said, what does a healthy relationship look like? Um, and I watched, me, me and my girl be into the shit. I watched these clips and, and I found out that a healthy relationship is a, 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 a relationship to where you can have disagreements People would call them arguments. Uh, I've never had so many arguments in my life, in my relationship, right? But I didn't, I had this conversation current? with my girl. No, not, no, I'm saying, oh, yeah, I'm saying like, yeah, my current. So in but your it's, current it's, it's, relationship, no, you never had so many arguments. But I'm so vulnerable, we're so vulnerable to each other that mm -hmm. I, I just tell, I just say my piece. Like in the past, I would just do whatever the fuck I wanted to and didn't care. But now it's like, hey, I don't like the way you talked to me earlier today. Like, I never had those type of conversations, mm -hmm. but to me, I'm just saying personally, that's what yeah. I think a healthy relationship is. I don't hold no punches, but I also told her, like, I also never given a person my all like I'm giving her outside mm -hmm. of my ex-wife. So now I'm in a space to where I don't, I don't lie to her. Like, I, I'm honest with her. Hey, such and such called me today. Hey, such and such invited me. I never had the opportunity to do that in my past relationship because of my ex was the way she was, and she like, nah, I ain't going for that shit. She let me do whatever I want to do. Back now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I ain't going to each other. But I'm saying now, I, like I said, I do argue, I don't want to call it arguments, disagreements, but I feel like it's healthy disagreements because we're talking about it instead of ignoring it. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so now, are you the man that, she, that this woman is talking about? Because you're saying that you have, on, on accident, let down, and you ain't engaged with women like that. You know what I'm saying? And now, but you have a woman that you do engage with that. So all the women, I'm, let me, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Hold on, I'm sorry. I should have said arguments. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me retract. Let me retract. Discussion. So I'm just saying that any man that only give their all to, well, I did this with this woman, but not the other one. And then I'm doing this again with this one. Well, are you the man that that woman is. No, talking but about? she again. She earned her spot. Not, with and me. when, when I'm I talk about you, I'm not saying you personally. Well, I'm, I'm okay, saying me personally. She earned okay. her spot with me. She went through hell just like all the other raggedy, ball headed what motherfuckers if she that made didn't last. What if she wouldn't have made? She and she, she passed the, the test. And so I, the I tried her in every way women, possible. That's the raggedy, ball head woman we watching on the screen. That's fine. <laughs> but, but all right, so so let's back up. Let's, let's, I don't want to make it about me. So I want to say That's this. Again, so I, I don't right. want to make it about me. But this right. is my okay. opinion on, on. So I was talking to a lady today about she should check out the show. She can call in or she can come through and talk, have the conversation with us. And I was telling her like a lot of men. This is my opinion. A lot of men fail women. Yes, I'm gonna be a, the opposite of Kevin Samuel. A lot of our men failed women, and a lot of. Our man failed our women. And that's everybody that's in a failed relationship. But but I'm saying... but So anybody that's been in a relationship with a black woman no, and it failed, no, saying, you failed that woman. Well, well... So I, what I, if I, she failed you? Well, well, then you can't say... Let's not make it about black and white. I, I, mean, I, I, I should have said man and woman. I don't okay, mean our man. Okay, okay. I'm just saying, like, but with, with me... I, I feel like giving somebody 21 years of my life was not a failed relationship. It was growing experience. Now I know what I 
do tolerate and what I will not tolerate mm -hmm. and what I want out of life. So my kids, mom, my kids' mom was a huge part of my growth as a human being and as a man. They say you could be with somebody and they can prepare you for who you're supposed to be with. Facts. Mm -hmm. In the long run. Yeah. So that, and that true. could be that situation. Or that what you went through with her let's made you a better man. Oh, I wish Michelle would just call in, but she said oh. I'm all in for what he said. Or oh. um, she, she said it's a lot of us women that give our all to men and they don't appreciate it. And that's what I'm saying. This, listen. Man, Not true. Time out. I'm gonna speak as a man. I, I, I'm, I've been in situations where I could have 15 women at once. You know what I'm saying? And didn't give a fuck about them. Didn't care about nothing but sex. I'm telling you that I love who I'm becoming because I, I, I look at my my friends and, and people and I'm seeing motherfuckers move weird. And your friends is looking at you like you're weird. No, you know what I'm no. saying? Because you can't. Because that's they. Just because you want to get with a woman and you need some type of thing, that's on you. But it's so, like, that's no, so if a person want to be, all right, time out, time out. So Cam's single, right? Yeah. Let me speak on Cam. Cam's single. If he say to a woman, look, all I want to do is hang out, kick it, fuck around. That's my prerogative. That's what I want to do with you. The problem that I feel like a lot of men are doing, they're feeding woman bullshit. And, and pretending so like you want to be with them, yeah, and no, like and you want to be, be with them. them, and you get them doing wifey type stuff, but Facts. you really just being a playboy. Come on, oh, man, that's weird. Stop that. that's you know, I've been there. I've been there. That's Everybody's weird. been in a situation where a woman was making you think she's doing wifey that's you type too. stuff no, that's and sleeping with somebody okay, else. That, that goes both ways. It's 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 both ways. Yeah, so then, so now, okay, but he's talking about no, no. He's saying you're doing that, but making her. Think you want to take it to the and next so level? So what is the woman do? And hold up, the well, women do that too. They definitely uh, let you sit here, pay bills, do this, take them out. You thinking you build the sum, and really she's just fucking around, or she's still messing with her baby daddy. It go both ways, plain and Why? simple. But he's saying that then you should come at point. You just so tell somebody you straight, know, be honest. Just be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm you know you you listen, that listen. listen. Now you know that that connection is not real. You have seen it. How you gonna know? I have seen you're it. You're not being honest you have front. lived through it. I lived through it. You but lived through it. So do you have Everybody at this table have lived really live. through it. But you ain't got to know until you... I have, I have, but I'm saying, do there ever come a point in time to where you're just tired of like playing games. Yes, you do. Like I'll be honest with you, man. Yeah. I feel I feel so that because I feel so time out. Ain't no playing challenge. I can't tell. Challenge. I'm talking I dropped dick. If I feel like Paul. Paul. I dropped dick if I wanted to. He tripping. Listen, I choose to do the right thing. Right, right. Then don't then don't hang on the next man. But I'm saying like I don't want to hang his jersey up. Cause you tired, boss. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, man, man said he turning this player you card tired, in. Bro. Man, and there's nothing wrong with that. Turn this player hey, card listen, in. Joe said I don't want to be a player no more. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. He said he don't want to be a player no more. All right. He so, said, all said. that love and energy and dick to one woman. Oh, oh, well, I'm no, just no, saying, I'm just saying, this is my kid. This is my kid. I even told my girl about you. I, I said, Kevin have always been a solid dude. Like, I couldn't understand. I got a couple solid homegirls that are single. And I'm like, and they're beautiful. I got, I got beautiful homegirls. I'm just saying, I got beautiful homegirls. And I'm just like, damn, why can't this motherfucker keep a man? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I realize it's a lot of shit about these people I don't know. Just because they're my friend and we have these conversations, mm -hmm. I'm not the motherfucker you sitting next the to the homegirl side. Yeah. Of her. I don't know if you the motherfucker's farting and they right. sleep. <laughs> I don't know if the motherfucker yeah. ain't cook. I don't know what they're doing yeah. to run off men. Same, mm -hmm. like I said, when I when I look at you, all I see is a real man. But I know what your fucking flaw is. You Tell me, Dr. Phil. Yeah, tell you, him. Tell me, so I can know. Yeah. You shocked me. Watching. You shocked me. You shocked me when you were saying how you want real intimacy. I didn't but you ain't never that. seen that. Before. I didn't expect yeah, you to say that. That kind of shocked me. But then he said he seen you living with the woman at home. He's done that. He was a, so you seen that part of it. Yeah, yeah, fact. So you can't say that you did not see that part no, of it. No, I said I didn't I see him it. about to say that. I seen oh, him be in a relationship. But, why but I thought I thought okay, Cam okay. was... Uh, have, keeping his player jersey on. Man, but when I mean, you was talking, you sound like a motherfucker ready to put his jersey up in the I don't wear rack. it, but it's in the closet and it stay creased, okay? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, don't go through stay creased. The player card has been put away from... She said, he my baby. He my, he... I'm going to take a drink. Whatever it is you're trying to say, I'm about to sip. 
Hey, every, all right, I, I think it's a great segue to this this topic. A lady was married to her high school sweetheart for time out. A lady was married to her high school high school sweetheart for like I think they said seventeen years, eighteen years. Her high school sweetheart got in a car accident, and he is a vegetable basically, but he's in a wheelchair. She winds up divorcing him. Getting a whole new husband, her and her husband basically adopted him, and she is now his guardian. So her husband, her new husband, paid to take care of her. Let's ex. watch the oh. clip. Let's watch the clip, man. We'll be right oh. back with y'all. Let's have this conversation. Man. Oh, um, yeah, she just got in here too. I wanted to have a kind of conversation mm -hmm. with Miss Marie. Mm -hmm. Miss Marie, you're a little late to the party, but we already been discussing uh, the the single woman that was speaking on. And she says she's taking up for men because there's a lot of good men out there. I just like I don't I don't Man, see I don't see no good, good women. I see niggas miserable. I see niggas miserable, sexless, sitting up talking about arguing. Nigga, you think arguing is a part of life? You gotta be bugged the heck out. To me, you know what I'm saying? Arguing ain't no part of life. Kid in here, shout. He said, "Big bro, it's uh." Yeah, there you go. That's that's key in there. What do he say? Oh yeah. What do he say? <laughs> he said I'm evaluating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So y'all ready to get to the next topic? Because I kind of want to touch on this. Let's go for it. Come let's, on. Let's watch the clip. He said elevating. Let's watch the clip. Okay. Yeah, he tell you the smartest dumb people you elevate. He said. He yeah. said evaluate. He, <laughs> he probably meant elevate. But he did say evaluate. Man, we're not sticking on a goddamn word in the chat. We'll be right back with y'all. This is actually understand bro this is so messed up i wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy this girl right here and this guy were high school sweethearts right everything going great between them until bam this man got t-boned by a commercial truck y'all know how big them things are he was within an inch of his life he slipped into a coma for two months and could never function the same after staying by his bedside for months she decided she didn't want to do it anymore and she filed for divorce that shit probably hurt him more than the truck well let me not say that but it gets worse somehow after that she finds a new man and ends up getting married bro imagine you're a vegetable and the woman you love the most leaves you and then finds another dude and those two ended up having three kids together so now you're on the outside looking in watching this man have the life that you're supposed to have with her but i'm not done yet y'all have heard of the he's like a brother to me you know the friend zone type shit there is somehow a level below that she became his legal guardian. She literally sunned him, bro. Just look at this quote, bro. This is the nail in the coffin. He's like one of our kids. We love him the same. I might as well just pull the plug on, bro. This is like never ending torture. Understand, bro. This is so. Here we go. All right, so that's the actual clip, man. I'm gonna be the first to say, uh, me personally, uh, I think you're a piece of shit if you divorce your husband because he he. Like, you better off in that situation. I don't want to tell a motherfucker what to do because I can get in an accident on the well, way home. You ain't built up like that. I just feel like if, if like, the whole point of finding a, a lifetime partner, which was his mm -hmm. wife, is to be there through thick and thin, through sickness and health. Sickness and health, and and she, death do you part, and ain't nobody dead yet. Now, to go get another husband and be getting nailed in front of him. Right, that's messed up. a little up. weird. No, 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 I guarantee you they do a cop. I guarantee you they do a cop. I guarantee you. Now, there's definitely a cop situation. But also, but also, there's some clues in there. Brandy, call in. Be the first to call in. And the man even referring to the man as a man. He said, we adopted one of our kids. That's messed up. That I don't, don't want to so go out like that. So, well, well, I'd rather, I'd rather go again, out in a nursing home. If you're in a vegetable state, you don't even know. But you think you want to go out in a nursing home. When you dare and you're in a present state, but you're in a vegetable state, and there's no loved ones coming to so you. Now, I'm gonna see there's one part of this we don't even know. Maybe she talked to her husband, cause just because he in a, a wheelchair and he can't talk, she may have talked to him and he said he's cool with it. He might want to be a part of the call. What, what, he, now, he what might, if he's the... <laughs> Be, I mean, because <laughs> she got, she got his blessing. But if I can't do it, possible. yeah, I can't that do it. I want possible. somebody to, you know, just talk dirty to him while she doing I mean, that. I don't know. Shit, she left the dude, yeah. and the dude was like, he probably was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? He in the nursing home, ain't nobody looking for him. He ain't got no kids. He ain't got, got no family. There. His mom and dad. At least let's, let's let him go out at home around but, the so woman the he loves. The man is nothing. The man 
that is willing to take another man into his home that the woman who he met man, with. Man, all he wanted is some pussy. So, so that we can we can forget the integrity. Are you crazy? Turn up. We can forget the integrity behind a man be coming crazy. in with a wife that you, had a husband and vegetables. A man steak. that want the man that just wants some tail. I know uh, men man that'll that come in my home want, if I invited him to my home to nail my woman. Yeah. So that is not and a he surprise. Gonna go back home. Yeah. So a man that just wants some trim ain't there. gonna take yeah. another man in. Hold on. A man that just wants some trim. Ain't gonna take another. Ain't gonna That's take the right. woman's man in for them to live with him just to get some trim. Right. That, but if he wants that trim, he would. Weird shit, but oh, for one night, <laughs> once I get the trim, you right. and your husband, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all get the fuck out of here. That's what y'all doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She said he loves her. Uh, y'all skipping, or is it me? No, we're not skipping. It's not you. She's saying it's be missing the point. What she said, y'all is y'all skipping or is it me? I think well, she said, you're skipping like Alright, I was talking to one of my friends about basically what about when a man go to jail? Right. You know what I'm saying? Say you get some Would time. You lady you're married. You now if you marry, yeah, ain't you gonna want to say For you get ten years? years you gonna want her to hold you down, right? And we wait on you. And, and guess what? I think she gonna want you to hold her down too while you in there. So, all right, just, all right. I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> the champ is here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just saying. So, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. The champ is here. What's his name? Hold please, on, brother. Please. Yeah, hold on, brother. So, if you in this new. God type level, you can't box with God, relationship type of nigga. Uh -huh. and, and I take my hat off to you. I'm glad you graduated to that higher level. You get ten you get now, a ten piece. Now, you get a ten piece. And we talking about you gotta do ten, so you probably got a twenty piece and you gotta bring ten. You gonna Would tell her to you wait for want, and you're married. And you're married. Would you want your woman? Yo, what? You talk to a nigga that watches Love After Lockup? No. But I also know it's not reality. Like, no, you want the motherfucker to stay with the, the, the sick, the, 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 the sick? The paraplegic, quadriplegic, whatever. Hold on. You want me to stay with the sick? No, if yeah, it's marriage, do yeah. dick or thin, yeah. love or do his part, you don't want that, that no was, more? Hey, that nigga say he loves her. Um, do you want that anymore? But do you, you want her to wait for you, though? Know? Because at least you got an out there. You want her to wait that 10 for you and stand by your side and not get no... Mm -hmm. I mean, you got toys and shit for that. Yeah, okay, then. Now, what so if say you, yes. So say yeah, I want I, to. I, I'll call three times a day. Yeah, you ready? Yeah, all right. Yeah, now, yeah, 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 now, now, what you saying you want your woman to stay and sexless. Stay faithful. Sexless. No, do I think sexless do I for think 10 years. Do I think it's, it would happen? You know somebody in there? I'm not you talking about somebody can... nailing my fucking Okay, head. well, let's, 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 let's take it one step further. It? Say you catch an L. We're not talking about your You catch an L. You want her to wait for you to end and stand by you, or you going to have some time arrangement where she can get her thing off but still be married to you? What? Or you going to turn her and set her free? Divorce her I was just not going to be with a person. Would you divorce the case. Like, we're not. I'm not doing with somebody them? fuck with somebody. So you would divorce them because you can't have sex with them. That's what he's saying. No, I, I, See, I, I would, he be, but he wants more than sex. He wants the whole intimacy, remember? He wants everything. But if the he intimacy that, and, and you can nah, do some letters. You can nah, do some that ain't the same. Oh, so it's about touch. Touch. Intimacy in there. is strictly touch. No, intimacy That's is strictly. Like, intimacy, time out. Intimacy is an aura. It's exactly. a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a lot of times, proximity level. does increase that aura. And through the You're phone, right. ain't that proximity. So the whole thing of uh, sometimes you got to miss them. To, or that's just, that stuff makes you believe that mm -hmm. I believe okay, that. Okay. Like, I can't believe people, like, for example, you know, I drive a truck. So, right. when I see husband and wife that drive team, you got to be crazy. You ain't got that love 24 in your heart. 24-7? No. You no, 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 we got to, well, I want to, I want to be away from you for a little while so I can miss you. You woman every day. No, every day, all day. Every day. Your woman is your I see, but hold on. And now I'm generalizing. Twenty-four seven. No, I want you. I want you to say exactly what you're about to say because we had this your conversation. Woman is your best friend. All right, but listen. This is where this is where it gets weird. Right. So I said to her, 
yesterday, and I'm cool with having conversations about my relationship, but don't, I'm, I'm public. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I said to her yesterday, I said, I think we're together too fucking much. Like, I talk uh, to you 24 you know seven. I'm with you, you all the time. I said, now I need time. I said, I might want to go I hang out I with Lisa. I said that on the show. I said, I think I might want to go hang out with Lisa. That's what I'm talking about right I said, but, I said, but the way my girl's wired, mm. Like, all you have to do is this, and I'm like, <laughs> is he doing this? Okay. Why, though? No. Why, no? Why, no? Why, because the, the respect I have for the way this woman makes sure I'm good, Why mentally, super physically, no financially, the way she takes care of me intimately. So you have I don't to go home. really want or care to have this. But you know what, though? What if she, if she really is anything. in tune with you, if you tell her you need that right there to get away, hang out with the fellas for a little while, you know what I'm saying? She should go, you know what, if that's what you need to keep us in the game and of keep course. us into it, then she should be like, go ahead and go do that. <laughs> yeah, but come on, yeah, man. We got our first call. Oh, oh, we got our first call. We got our first call. Hey, hey. Smart as dumb people. This is Anthony. What's Who is up? this? Hi guys, how are you guys doing? We doing we alright. Who is this? It's for Cheryl Michelle. What's up, Michelle? Michelle, oh, you in the chat? Some question. What do you know of somebody over 20 years and you really got feelings for them, but you don't know how to tell them? Okay. That's a good fucking That's question. That's a good question. Now, are y'all friends? Have y'all been intimate? Okay. So, well, but the thing is, is that you got to. She got to answer if they have been intimate. Because if you don't, if you're not able to say if y'all been intimate, it kind of takes away the fire of what you're trying to do. Is it your pastor? I just want to know. Man, <laughs> all right. All right. I'm right. being serious, L Michelle. So, all right. I mean, let's let's be serious though with her. So, Michelle, all we, the reason why I'm asking, I'm going to say why I'm asking, because I am Dr. Phil on the show. The reason why I'm asking is because if he's your friend, you, you shouldn't have never had sex. I definitely don't agree with that. So go ahead, Michelle. Frank? Uh, Kath? That's Lena. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> did you just like, propose? Did you just propose? She caught from a different no love. That. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Did you oh, just man. propose? Hey, yeah. hey no, man, she... we ain't got no time for no uh, show, man. Uh, 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 ain't no show, man. No, this is good. This is a good episode. Is. This is a good episode. <laughs> Do you really mean that, or are you yeah. joking? Hold yeah. on, time out. Yeah. Hold on, brother. We don't know what we doing right now. Hold on, that time out now. If what you go do now? Let her talk. Let her talk. You can't do that. No, I, I'm, I'm serious. Damn. Uh, Damn. Uh, this is the first uh, uh, a motherfucker yeah. on the show says she <laughs> love. Listen, we hey, man, leave it. And she know I got mad love for her too. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm working on a few things that you know that I need to. Get right, but they, hey, I appreciate the shout out, damn yeah, it. I promise you, I appreciate that in, shout out. You know what I'm saying? And, and, Put me and, on the spot, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But it's all good, you know. <laughs> Lena, you We're still here? You back? Michelle, you still here? We gonna call you back though. All right, well, thank you so much for that. You know it goes both ways. Now nah, I this appreciate is that. Yeah. <laughs> this is like Wendy uh, Williams. <laughs> We need to search into Wendy Williams. That nigga got to talk about it. Juicy. Thank you for calling, Michelle. Have a good day. <laughs> All right. Well, you something else, boy. I didn't talk about this. <laughs> I didn't talk about this. <laughs> I didn't talk about this. I didn't expect that. He said, Jesus. this is juicy. <laughs> this is juicy. Make sure y'all call in at the bottom of the screen right here, right here, right here, right here. Go ahead and call in. More topic. Man, I think we should talk about this situation. No, not, no, not, not necessarily. Well, 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 you not necessarily. Ask, well, you got to ask the proprietor. Not, not, not I necessarily. Know. I know. I not know. necessarily the situation, but but in general. In general. Okay. So somebody you've been doing uh, that, yeah. hanging out with every now and then, <laughs> fucking around with every now and then, officially want to be in a relationship with you. To be honest with you, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak from a, a standpoint of a psychologist. To be honest with you, 
once you take it to a sexual uh, situation, you can know, and, and that's what you've always been, regardless if y'all been good friends or not. It's going to be hard to get out of that space to where he can look at you or she can look at you any different than just a friend slash sexual. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, let, let well, me talk. Well, okay, no. Well, if you're talking about specifically, then no, it was not just no sexual thing. No, no. That, not just, you know, no. if we we're speaking on this particular situation. No, I don't want to speak on this. I was no, speaking on general, 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 general. Right. Well, yeah, if, if you had, it, it's hard to turn your hookup buddy into a full-fledged relationship because for one you never was looking at them like that and for mm -hmm. two you know they know up in that whole time that they've been doing something different you've been doing something different it ain't like that the body count stopped when y'all started messing around okay so you just see what i'm saying so they so do body count matter i used to think that when i was I younger but now it don't i because, don't because because here's the thing I, I, they're probably women wouldn't even talk to me. <laughs> okay. Because you did some fucking. Yeah, they did some fucking. So I, I would oh. never, I would never oh. try to hold that against a woman. I think what I would hold against you her. You wouldn't hold it, body count? Nah, can, nah, dog. You I would right hold the man. quality of dude she messing with. That's a fact. Yeah, I, that's what I care more about. You, if you don't even talk about fucking with black So let's yeah. say Larissa Pippen. Scotty Pippen, ex wife, yeah. that was the future. The yeah, yeah. I'm not fucking so, so, that, so that's the quality. But, you but that's that but see, messing with the top elite. There we go. So that, that's what I care about. You making now, if she got a bunch of a trail of flavor flames, then hey, we might have to reevaluate okay. this. But when you got Scotty Pippins and Futures and and trace on okay, no matter a body count. Yeah. Because it's the quality, the, yeah. It's the quality of the That's some that's some weird <laughs> ass sexual <laughs> shit. Man, no people that quality, shit. A body man. is a body. No. It don't matter how much to money me, you got. Well, hey, a body is me, a body. Well, and, and, and the quality of a dude don't necessarily mean what's in his pocket. A body is a body. Hold up, because there's some trash ass dudes that uh that got money. So I'm talking about just the quality of dude that you fucking so with. So you saying that yeah. if you mess with the woman and they see you with her, and they ain't gonna say, why he with her? They I will already know that. why yeah. he with her. Because the type of quality of woman she is. Is that what you yeah, know? I can't you speak do. for you, brother. Right, right. Up. I used to clean it up. Now. No, 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 that's that's what I'm saying. Saying. I don't, I don't, know, I don't care about it. Up. Body right. count as far as the number. You know, as long like I said, it's the quality, dude. Because like I said, why would you care about the quality of well, the man? Well, because you if heard she the messes with some trash ass niggas, then I might not want to mess with her then. Because then I might think, well, damn, okay. are you looking Clean at me up. like I'm one of them trash okay. ass dudes? Okay, think Clean about it. it. You know what I'm but saying? But you probably, but you, uh, no, I agree no with offense, that. no offense, I agree with no that. offense. It don't matter how good of a quality guy you are. You have a penis. Pause. You have a penis. And at some point in time, oh, you were looking for a woman that had a vagina. And so the the quality of woman is out the door when you're just looking for a piece of a JJ at the end of the night at 3 a.m. drunk from the club. Mm. We didn't all fit in. So, yeah, yeah. so yeah. let's be honest. Quality does not really matter. But, but, now, hold on. but there's also in that realm of drunkenness, you can... Brandy said, tell. "Body count is none of uh, none of your business." Brandy, you, <laughs> you see, see very secretive. You see very secretive. You see me. Unless you, you care about woman, you care about women's body count. I, you, I used it? to. I used yes, to. Yes. Why, I used to. Why should you care? Because I don't. You know what I mean? When when we sneak all that. Okay, but did that stop you? From, but the same you know women sneak all that. But hold up, the same women that in the club what they do. It was like, right. We just had her on the pool table. <laughs> right. <laughs> she was getting blue. So oh, hold up, though. Oh, 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 oh. Can they change? Hold up, though. Woman change? But somewhere hey, there's, no. there's some women sniggling at you, too, probably. Think nah, about it. Uh -huh. nah. The only, if a woman, now, humbly, I'm saying this humbly, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe that if a woman see me with another woman, that they were giving like that woman. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, and I, I personally feel like I can stand on it. Um, you know what I'm saying? I personally, as the person who I am, as a man and a being, that another woman, so I see him with her, and we'll we like just it. had a discussion about you and your old lady. Uh, 
uh, during the backpack slide. Mm -hmm. And everything you said make, made sense to me, which I already knew that because I've had conversations with my lady about the shit. You know, about, mm -hmm. uh, like, motherfuckers act like Leland ain't charismatic. I, I've seen this motherfucker talk to a motherfucker and damn near they draws me ready to fall off because he's charismatic. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, your lady get that on a day-to-day -day basis from 7 a.m. to goddamn 12 p.m. Right. So, I mean, to 12 a.m. So, it is a difference. Charismatic is charismatic. So, like you, you said. got that res, you got that res. Yeah, yeah. It, it yeah. just is what it is. If you got that glow. If you got that glow flow. <laughs> you got that glow flow. But humbly. Hey, guys. Humbly. We done talking man, about we, it. Come on, hey guys, man. Hey, guys. We just started. We started late. Like, and we hey had a phone call. We started late, man. Let's keep it going, man. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's Facebook going to shut us down. Keep the new reason. Go ahead. Facebook going to shut us down? Hey, guys. Yeah. yeah. Now it's time to say goodbye to all my Negro friends. And Caucasians. Listen, this is the smartest dumb people. We had one call in today, and it was about love. It was about love, but I'm gonna leave it. Hey, I'm gonna leave it to Dr. Phil now. It was about love. And if you really love, love this, out, if you really like, love, this, if you really love I'm this the, person, I'm the Dr. Phil of the room. The show is about to be over. If you really love this person, you should reach out to him and send him some flowers and a paycheck and, and the new rims. What kind of rims did you want? Those new Rachis? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Get all that. Like like Nate's and Rick. <laughs> Did you get all that? <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> this is smart as dog. I settled here. for a tune up. <laughs> I got $19 no. for a lap dance. Oh, man. <laughs> But I only got a dollar for a cigarette. This is the smartest dog people. Mm -hmm. Anthony, that dude, Johnson. Mm -hmm. Kev, mm -hmm. thanks for coming through. No problem, man. Paul uh, Revere, yeah, yeah, LD the Great in the building. <laughs> Y'all have a great, great night. Hey, yo, what's up? Have you seen the smartest dumb people podcast? Yo, are you dumb? I'm getting smarter just thinking about it. Politics, sports.